Hey guys, Portia here and today I am working on a Father's Day gift set. So in my most recent sublimation trend box from Jocelyn Plastic Plus, I was thinking there was a lot of items in there that will make really good gifts for Father's Day. So I just decided to put them together as like a set. We are going to sublimate a stainless steel coffee mug, a pair of socks, a photo slate, as well as a keychain bottle opener. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so first off, I'm just gonna get everything um, set up and taped down and then we'll uh, press it. Starting with a pair of socks. All of the images that I'm gonna be using today, I created in Canva. And we're gonna start with, I guess, the back, the back of the socks. And this is the image that I created. So all it is is a collage of Muhammad Ali. Since we're doing the uh, Father's Day, I thought if we go with the goat theme um, for all of our pieces, that it would be fitting. So I'm just gonna line this up and tape it on. And with our socks, we're gonna have to do one side at a time. So this is the back side, and then this is the rest of the image. Again, it's just a collage that I created in Canva. But we're gonna, we're gonna have to do one side at a time. So let's tape everything else. So here's our photo slate. I have already wiped it down with alcohol. So the surface is nice and clean. And I put tape on the back side of my image. And so I'm gonna just place this face down. And I did print the image wider than the slate. And I did that on purpose. All right, so here is our 10 ounce mug. And I'm using the Cricut Mug Press to press this. And it's not going to go all the way around, so what I'm trying to do is just kind of get this on here even where it's even on both sides. Last but not least, we have our little, um, I guess the insert for our keychain bottle opener. And it comes with a little plastic film on it. Don't sublimate on top of that. Uh, yeah, I've made that mistake before, so I'm just saying. I'm take this down right quick. So all four of our items items are taped up. Let's get to pressing. All right, I'm gonna start with the um, mug and we are going to just pretty much put it in there and let it go. Now this definitely is a tight fit, but it'll be all right. get the socks done next now this is going to be for me a three section process so I'm going to do the back side first and that is going to be uh, 40 seconds 400 degrees and this is going to be medium pressure and then I'm going to flip and we're going to do the front side and then I'm going to come back in and do the bottom like tip of the toes because my press can't accommodate that but I'm sure it's going to all work out fingers crossed so let's go ahead and do our first press all right next up let's go ahead and do our uh, keychain insert so we're going to do 45 seconds 356 degrees and once again moderate pressure Last but not least, we are going to do our photo slate. Now, this can be a little tricky, so if at all possible, do a test piece first um, so you can find out what works for you. So, I have my parchment paper down. I am going to place the uh, plate face down, and then over that, I am going to place a silicone sheet. And the reason why I'm doing this is to help with insulation. We want the heat to travel through and heat up the entire plate. And then I'm gonna come back through with the parchment paper. Sometimes the uh, silicone likes to stick. Ooh, I shouldn't have did that. Likes to stick to the uh, platen there. And then we're gonna press to this at 400 degrees. And we're, once again, we're gonna do moderate pressure. You have to be careful because these uh, plates are their their actual towel tiles. You can crack them, so just you're gonna want to be careful with that. So we're gonna just and let it go. okay guys so it is time for show and tell i'm kind of excited because three out of the four of these items was my very first time uh pressing but i'm a researcher so i try my best to 
um, learn as much as I can before I try a new substrate. So let's just take a look at our items. So this is my first time pressing socks and I'm excited about how they came out. Now what I could have done better is there's a point where when you are laying them flat you need to roll so that you don't end up with a line down the side and I definitely ended up with a line down the side so I didn't roll well before I flipped but you know what it's gonna be all right because I like them and I'm sure my husband's gonna like them he is a huge boxing fan he's actually like a sports fanatic so this gift set is definitely gonna go to him and if we check out the back so yeah guys, socks are really fun. I'm, you know, I'm glad I got an opportunity to try them out because I don't know if I hadn't had the sublimation box, if I would have actually uh, bought them or it just would have ended up a necessity type thing. Um, let's look at our keychain. So this came out nice and bright and it's just, it says, you know, the greatest of all time. And then we have our little uh, boxing gloves there. And it's also a bottle opener, so think that's kind of cool and our cup here so it's the 10 ounce um, stainless coffee mug I like the way it came out but what I will say is I forgot that because there's a difference in the level here so this is like raised and then there's an indentation the mug press didn't actually get into the this part as well as it ought to have or where well as it should have and so you can see it should be that nice bright bright red but we got a little bit of like orange red going on down here not what I wanted but overall I still think it's visually appealing so that's gonna, I think all together though, if you like, that's why I wanted you guys to see it. Like if you look at it all together, it's like, okay, this is a dope gift. Now, when I pulled this out the box, the photo slate, I was excited about pressing on it anyway. And I'm also uh, very, very excited now because for it to have been my first press, it came out good y'all. So let me, I'm trying to get the light out of your way. So I got to hold it at an angle. Our red is super bright and then the translation of the image is very clear and we don't even have any um, you know like light spots because I definitely this back here was my first time pressing uh, tile not a slate but tile and it didn't work out too great but that's in another video anywho I, I, I really like this I love the gloss on it and like I say I, I think for my first time pressing it came out really <laughs> really good so when you put these pieces all together I think it really makes an impressive gift set we can't even really see this very well but yeah i think this makes an impressive gift set so i think i'm gonna put it in like a black gift bag with some red paper because this has its own box this has its own box and so does this and then the socks i'll probably put in like some plastic or something okay guys this is all i have for you today i just want to share with you all my idea for sublimating some items for father's day hopefully you guys can take it and make it your own and make it specific for that guy in your life your dad your husband grandpa all that good stuff so yeah if you got any questions concerns emotional outbursts let me know if you found this video helpful or even entertaining could you go ahead and give it a thumbs up but guys until next time peace